I did. Um, obviously, when you're away, they're not going to show the replay, so we didn't get a chance to see it. Um, you know, I felt like I was going for it, but I mean, the refs going to make a call. You know, personally, I wish I got the ball off a little quicker. You know, I know it was a big third down in the game, and we're up, trying to get the ball to trail and let them work in man-to-man -man coverage. So, um, you know, yeah, I just got to get the ball out a little bit quicker. You know, feel that rush, um, especially at that point of the game, and um, keep us in a better situation. Um, you know, they, they um, you know, we were, we were doing really well in third downs and fourth downs throughout the game, especially early. So we knew they were going to get more aggressive. Um, and the O-line was doing a good job of picking it up. And we were doing a good job. Receivers were doing a good job of getting to the open area so I could get the ball out of my hand quickly. So um, I had to take an extra hit, just man coverage. Got to let the guy win. And, um, you know, hats off to them for making a great play and, and a big moment of the game. Josh, the interception was that? Yeah, you know, we were trying to take a shot on third and long. Uh, Trailer ended up running by him, and I was trying to give him a chance to go up and, and make a play. Um, you know, as I said, you know, it's a critical situation. We turn off the ball. Defense did a great job of getting off the field, though, right after. Um, so we still felt good, you know, about the situation. But, um, yeah, you know, I think, you know, obviously, you know, you get here two weeks ago and you got a guy on a go ball, and we haven't gotten a ton of reps at it. Um, so that was tough, but you know I got to put the ball out there and let Traylon, a big body receiver, go up and make a play on the ball. I, I know you're fresh off, of, but off the top of your mind, you know, looking from the first half to the second half, like, there was a lot more success against the Blitz. What do you think changed in, in the second half? You no, know, I think like it's just all about situationally and playing the game, right? You know, in the second half, both teams, you know, on offense, um, were still trying to find their rhythm, and defenses were playing better. So, um, just recognizing. Um, the part of the game, trying to get the ball out of my hands as quickly as possible. We did a great job executing in the first half. In the second half, you know, we're still executing, but just coming up a little short on third down. And um, at the end of the day, that's what the game comes down to. You know, those uh, two, three plays, um, we're able to stay on the field, keep the chains moving. Um, then we have a chance to go down and win the game. I'm sorry if this is after our game, but were you hopeful they look at the replay and say, I was moving forward? I mean, did you have any question at all that that was a fumble? I felt like my arm was moving forward. I mean, when you throw the ball and the ball goes forward after the guy hits you, you know, it feels like just I'm a physics guy. So it was pretty simple that, you know, it's going forward. But, you know, as I said as well, like I haven't seen the play as well, so I don't know when he hit me in, in the act of throwing. When you're on the road, they uh, do a great job of not showing replays of, of uh, big, big plays. So um, I'll check it out on film and see. But, yeah, it was definitely a tough one. First half. Yeah. Even Derek said he thanked you for giving this team a chance. No doubt. You know, I think um, obviously losing s sucks, right? And especially um, with the magnitude of the game and everything that not only personally just coming here, but the guys just putting into the situation. Um, you know, Chris Conley uh, really put things into perspective. You know, he's like, just look how far you've come in your journey just this year from where you started to shoot where I was four weeks ago, you know? Um, so it's been a tremendous journey. You know, I'm really a proud, of, proud of my effort. I'm proud of the team's effort. I'm proud of how the guys fought, especially with the championship on the line. And it sucks losing, um, but it's part of the game. And, um, you know, we'll, re we'll rally, we'll watch the film, figure out how we can improve situationally, take care of the football a little bit better, and keep pushing for it. First you have to go about as well as you could have hoped for, just the way you guys were able to keep the chains moving and win time of possession. Yeah, you know, it, it, it was, we were really on script. You know, the first third down of the game, I gave uh, Jay Ward a bad ball. Um, and then from there, we were really able to, to execute in those big moments, right? Um, one of our keys was scoring touchdowns in the red zone. So personally, I feel like, you know, we could have did a better job of that. I could have did a better job of that. You know, we, we ended up settling for a couple field goals. We got one touchdown, a big play to Chig. Uh, but, you know, yeah, score touchdown in the, in the red zone, and that's where the game comes down to. So. Uh, we played well in the first half. Um, they did a great job making adjustments on defense. Um, I thought, thought we still moved the ball well, especially coming out of the second half. Um, it just came down to those couple plays at the end of the game. How tough was that last drive having to come back out after the fumble? How do you feel like you and the offense handled that? Uh, I, it wasn't tough at all. You know, I think for me personally, um, just kind of my mental uh, disposition just on ball, you know, it's one play at a time. You know, there's going to be plays where they get you. There's going to be plays where you get them. 
at the end of the day, it's all about how you respond, whether it's a good play or a bad play, because the last play has no effect on the next play. So, um, yeah, they got us on that play, but we did a good job responding. We drove the ball. We didn't finish the drive how we won it, um, which is tough. Um, but I like the look in the, the guy's eyes, right? I like the no flinch mentality. I like um, just feeling guys, the energy in the huddle saying, we're good. Let's go down. Um, let's stay confident and keep moving the ball. And um, with that energy and effort, um, it's definitely going to set you up for success in the future. How do you kind of deal with the suddenness of, of just how this is all ending? Oh, uh, trying to figure out how to deal with it, honestly. You know, uh, when you, you put a lot into this game, especially, you know, given my situation, given the team situation, and guys battling back from injury, all for this game, right? You know, it's it's really the season's on the line, AFC South champs, and an opportunity to go to the playoffs. And that's, you know, when you um, wake up, when you grow up playing ball, man, like these are the opportunities that you love and that you yearn for. Um, so, yeah, you know, it, it's it's definitely tough. Um, Something tough. It'd be, it'd be a tough, tough uh, flight home, but uh, we'll be able to rally and keep pushing forward. How do you learn the last, last three weeks, Josh, Josh, and your experience going forward? Um, shoot. Uh, you know, I, I obviously I've learned, like learned more ball. Um, I wouldn't say I learned anything about myself because I, I, you know, I expect myself um, to be ready for difficult situations. You know, so to be placed in this situation and have to come in and play well, you know, I really take pride in that. You know, just with my mental disposition, how I work, how I prepare. Um, I'm thankful for the opportunity because, shoot, I've been waiting for this opportunity for a long time. So um, I hope there's many more like it. I'll definitely look forward to it. Based on, based on, I know it's, early, it's maybe soon, but based on your time here, would you, like to, would you like the opportunity to come back and compete for a role here next year? No doubt. I love Tennessee. Shoot, uh, I spent a lot of time in Tennessee. Um, I enjoy the offense. I feel comfortable in the offense. So. Um, I know those decisions aren't made by me, um, and so we'll see how it shakes out this offseason, but if the opportunity is presented, I would love to be back. Well, I mean, it's just, it's, it's difficult to lose uh, any time in this league, you know. Felt like we were going to win the game, felt like we were going to win the game uh, Monday and Tuesday, you know, all the way up through the week. I felt really good about where we were at. Obviously, we... You know, played with great effort, you know, kept kept answering. You know, when the offense needed an answer, they did. You know, when the defense needed to, they did. You know, and they just, you know, made a play there at the end. You, you preached, you know, winning the turnover battle. How tough was it to have those two turnovers, 10 points, you know, so late in the game? You know, it's what costs you the game. You know, I mean, this league, you can't, can't turn it over and give up, you know, defensive scores, you know what I mean, so. But you know, it's, it's 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 we're all in this thing together, and that's the most important thing that uh, that we have to recognize. How much you feel like the defense gave you a chance by holding them to field goals a lot? Yeah, I mean they did, you know. But you know, that's their job, and that's what they've done, and that's the expectation. And you know, just the same way as there was times where you know the offense put together some drives and 17 play drives and took some clock off and kept the ball away from them. So you know, again. Really, really close, but but not close enough. How quick is it? Quick though, for you? I mean, do you think it was the right call, or did you get a chance to just get a second look at it yourself? On, on the, on I mean, they look. I didn't. Yeah, I mean, all scoring plays are reviewed, so they clearly. There's only one game going on. There's probably a couple set of eyes that looked at it. Did you, did you, did you look at it though? No, they didn't put it on the replay. I mean, when I looked up, I didn't see it on the replay. How limiting was? You know, starting in the shadow of your own goalpost, you know, certainly isn't ideal. Um, you know, I just got to you know be able to string some first downs together and you know get off to a better start, maybe convert. I thought, you know, when Jonathan made that you know extra effort play, I thought we had a chance, you know, to get into the drive and and do some things, but you know that ended. I mean, none of us really were good enough, you know, at the end of the day. I mean, I thought Josh did some good things, but, you know, wasn't about one guy. On the first scoring drive, what happened there when Trey was tossed the ball across the field? I know he was called for a forward battle. Was that a decision that you made 
design? Yeah, I mean, it's a third, it was just a third and long play. And, you know, if they had given us some free access, just trying to, to get into the defense, we had shown, you know, a similar look earlier in the year. We tried to get the trail in and catch and run and thought, you know, maybe steal one. And, you know, if not, hopefully still be in field goal range. But, you know, again, if they, they're coming at them, we just wanted to go down. But if they had given us free access, try to get into it and then, you know, see if we can convert on a third and 15. But that was it. I, I, I thought we started a game, you know, how we wanted to, but, you know, you, you got to finish better. You have to finish, you know, as confident that we would, and, you know, we didn't. What do you think the second half offense has struggled defensively since the week you're home? I don't know. I only talk on at night. I think they played better. You know what I mean? I just, I mean, come on. You know, I mean, we're out there battling, Joe. You know, I mean, they're battling their ass off with guys that didn't even start the season with us. So that's what the problem was sometimes tonight. But, you know, that, that, that's where it was. You know, we'll try to take a look at everything else uh, at a later time, but focus on tonight. You know, the penalty, you know, I mean, there's some penalties that costly again. First and, you know, 30-yard run, it gets called back, and it's first and 20. You know, those are tough. So those are things that you can't do. Uh, two turnovers. Keep you know typing all those things down. Those are going to lead to not much points. As far as uh, New Orleans getting the ball that quickly, obviously that was negating a lot of the pressure. But was, was what, at what point did you guys kind of start to ramp things up? Start the ball? You know, I mean, in the second half, I think we just kind of you know figuring out what we felt like was going to work and where the game plan was. And I thought we did a nice job of mixing it up and you know try to limit their. Again, just trying to disrupt the timing and affect the quarterback a little bit, which you know we were able to do, which was allowed to get us you know some stops and some three and outs or some sudden change situations. Four, four dives in the first half, they did really well against the blitz, but the second half it wasn't exactly the same. Yeah, I mean it's not all on the quarterback. No, I'm not right. saying it is. I, and I wasn't saying that you were. I'm just right. answering the question and just saying that you know that's that's something that you know you have to do is being able to block pressure and you know. Make them pay for it down the field, or you know, whatever the situation is, and and execute. Um, but but we weren't, you know. I mean, and you know, we we have to be able to you know, get the protection right and block them and all those things that go into executing on third down. You guys gave up a 50-yard re- kickoff return after you got up 10 to nothing. How much of a momentum switch was that? I mean, that was you know one of the keys with special teams is. Limited Agnew and being a you know explosive runner in his career and even this year and you know he had a touchdown against us that was called back so we clearly understand how explosive he is and and we have to do a better job. What did you say to the offense after the fumble before they went out for that last drive just to kind of rattle the troops? I mean, go go win the game. You know what I mean, go win the game. Like there's nothing we can do about it now. We went from four minute to, to two minute. And as to how situations quickly they change, unfortunately, in this league. You know, if you're trying to get a third down conversion. Um, you know, because we did some pretty good things with six minutes and trying to get a couple first downs and um, you know, trying to get a third down there conversion with three minutes and you know, whatever it was, 15 seconds. You know, really start forcing them to use timeouts and then it then it didn't work out. At the end of the marathon grind, you always, it's always sudden every year. What do you, what do you say to the guys immediately? After Just how proud I am to, to coach them. You know, we didn't waver. You know, a lot of teams would have, you know, there'd be guys fighting. I'd be breaking up fights, and you know, guys would be quitting on teammates. But I mean, I think you can tell by the effort that whoever goes out there is, you know, playing with great effort. And again, that, that it's got to be more than just great effort. We have to have. You know, a lot of things, you know, happen to be better. Um, but those are just signs that you look for, like guys are competing, you know, they're fighting, and uh, they're coming to work. Yeah, that's what I told them. I was thankful for the guys that started this thing with us. I've been here through the long haul, uh, this long season from April 18th. I um, was thankful for, for a lot of guys that came in here mid-season, mid-week, that played. 
That's what I told them. And I was, you know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that they, they, they lost, that we lost. You know what I mean? That, that we lost. I wanted to win for them, you know, and the people that have, that's, have stood by us, you know, through this whole thing. No, I mean, not, not for me. Like, my, I only care about the team. I care about the players. I care about their families, you know. No, I mean, it hasn't, you know. My family's healthy. You know, I mean, I get to see Carter. I get to go home and see, you know, Jen and the family. And it's, you know, you, these guys, you know what I mean? We've, we've been through a lot, you know what I mean? We celebrated life. We've mourned. Loss of life within our, you know, players' families, and you know, told them it's the first game I've played or coached in in the state of Florida that my grandfather hadn't been at. You know, so we all go through stuff, and I think we've all stood stood by them, stood by each other, supported each other. You know, we just you know, got on a shitty streak, and, and we couldn't. Couldn't get off. We couldn't make the plays when we needed to. We couldn't just be consistent enough when we needed to. Um, that showed up again tonight.